What's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some more custom hero clash. Let's have a look at the heroes available. We got Terror Blade, Lycan, or Shadow Demon. Is Wolves Is that a strat? Is that a thing we can do? Is that is that a thing? Is that is that a I mean if we get like feral impulse and wool, you know what? Let's let's why not? Let's <laughs> I think this is there we go, we got high summoner. And we've got oh my god, this no, we do we're doing wolves. Uh, look at that. Got, could have had Fury Swipes and Bash of the Deep, but we went summon wolves and feral impulse instead. The battle begins. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh man. All right. <laughs> I can't believe that that's the thing we do. Oh my god. I just passed up. I just passed up Fury Swipes and Slaughter Bash for Summon Wolves and Feral Impulse. <laughs> I hope you guys will appreciate this nonsense. You know something that I really like about Custom Hero Clash and Custom Hero Chaos. This really lets us lets us do some some nonsense, right? Some some real just kind of bullshit, frankly speaking. And I think that's really cool. Are you serious? The first player I fight against has spin. I am I am actually I am actually so upset right now. That really spin. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it. No, the dog. Oh, look, look. Ah, oh, this is just not gonna work. Oh my god. No, no. I mean, I could use my fairy fires, but it's not. I shouldn't have used that not gonna be enough oh man all right so i don't think we're going for howl that's not right right that's not right deafening blast craggy craggy or do we do we re-roll this cold embrace i can use that on a wolf to like make the wolf really tanky and difficult to kill you know beast no this is not that much attack speed this is 40 attack speed this is not good enough I don't think that's good enough, honestly. Um, like, I know Inner Beast seems like the obvious, like, ha, well, you want to go summons, get the summon ability. But this is just 40 attack speed. Like, it's just not that much. I feel like the best ability is actually Cold Embrace. Oh, this feels like a re-roll. Oh, Chaotic Offering. Oh, we get like Shadow Realm or something. Shadow Dance? Man, I wish we could have old Shadow Dance where like it made your allies also invincible. I think we just get Chaotic Offering though. That seems like a good fit for us. I don't think it's like super overpowered, like it's fine. The Chaotic Offering is a good ability, it's not an amazing ability, no. The problem it has is the really long cooldown, right? If we get something that has a lower cooldown, it'll be way better. You just bet zero gold. Well, I didn't have any money, okay? Alright, who wins that? <laughs> they both don't have any abilities. I was just gonna say this guy wins that. You know, at least one of them has something. All right, then. All right, all right. Good. Summon wolves. Max that out. So, the wolves have a few nice properties, right? First of all, there's a lot of them. Secondly, they have no cooldown, basically. And third, they have a super low base attack time. Which is gonna go insanely well. With the with the summoner items. Really, you lost that. That's sad. Okay, I don't feel so good about that. Ooh, Timo versus Flair. 
What's going on there? More shredder. <laughs> I'm gonna take a careful soft gamble here. But I think the walls might actually scale really nicely. I don't know. Do we want shapeshift? I feel like we wouldn't be too upset about shapeshift. This, another nice thing about this, by the way. Great for duels. Right? It's just a fantastic ability for duels. Alright, Timo. Oh, it's not enough. Damn it. Oh, look at that. You know, I said that really the only way to make these be super consistent is with bad juju, right? Well... Well, will you have a look at that? Can we bet again, please? Hey, you guys can bet. Chat. Guy on the left is one. Guy on the right is two. Go ahead and go. Go bet. Go nuts. Who do you think wins? Keep me going here. Give me the power. No, Charlie, you don't get to stay free. That's nonsense. <laughs> Not, it's not an option. One or two. <laughs> Conform yourself to the system. Listen to what I tell you. Don't question. Don't think. Just do. Man, this stuff is expensive, though. Alright, I got it right, though, right? This guy wins. I mean, Ogre Magic would win if this was later in the game, but it's not. It's, it's pretty early on. Ooh. Wait, you have two? <laughs> I have two fleshies. <laughs> Come on, get the trifecta. Who wins, chat? Quick, one or two, one or two, one or two. I see more ones. All right. Okay. So now I think we just kind of want a nice spammable last ability. Honestly, what I feel would be perfect is just Anchor Smash. Got a lot of damage because of strength. Yeah, it's also a brute. Look at that big fat boy. That hurts. I'm not saying that you necessarily should win against that. That's a hard win. All right, quick chat. There's not that much time. There's not that much time. Tell me. Who wins? Who wins? I see a lot of twos. See kind of an even split. More ones. Okay, more ones. Alright, confirm. We'll do, we'll go, we'll go with the solid stuff again. Look, chat, it can't be that I always have to remind you. If I have to remind you, it just will not work. Right, there's not that much time. You have to be quick about it. You have to immediately, as soon as you see it pop it up, you need to immediately vote in chat. That's the only way we can actually pull this off. Does not affect some abilities. Cannot be rearmed. Okay. Cookie? I think this is actually all bad. I don't think we want rearm really. I mean, we can't rearm this and we don't need it for anything else. I think this is all bad. Um, Chain Frost? Is Chain Frost any good? Is it at all usable? Howl. Does Howl work on creeps? But it's just such a short duration. Like, I don't like Howl at all. I think the duration is just way too short. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Come on, guys. Go hard. Yeah, look at them wolves. They're actually starting to be powerful. But you have bad juju. Yeah, but... Is that really good, then? 
40% damage reduction. Hmm. I think I'm gonna summon these. The timer's running awfully low. I ain't fucking with that. Okay, you know what? I'll just discard because I just got a reroll thing. Wait, Battle Hunger is not too bad. That's a lot of twos. Hey, Alex! Thank you so much for the 23 months, dude. Appreciate it. Hmm. <clears throat> Battle Hunger is actually really not too bad. Do I just keep Battle Hunger? It's 30% damage reduction, and um, it's way more reliable. Ah, but it's... Oh, we can actually kind of spam it with bad juju. It's got like four seconds cooldown. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I think I think we just keep this book of retraining right now. I honestly feel like Battle Hunger, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's totally fine. Like, it's actually kind of solid enough, I feel. It's worth keeping. All right. What are you guys saying? Who wins? See more twos, but only a few, so I'm going to be careful with it. Doesn't have damage reduction while you're on tooltip, or am I imagining things? Oh, it requires agonims. If you have agonims, then you can use it. Alright. Causes Battle Hunger to be an area of effectability and reduces the damage output of affected enemy units. That's what we're going for. You know, I wish I was in some duels, honestly. Like, I'm really strong now. I think I can win duels against pretty much anyone. Alright, I see chat voting for number one here. Elia. Coming in. Yeah, wolves are, are are getting there. You know. We definitely do still need to, like, max this all out. You know what's kind of annoying about the wolves, though, is that they go invisible. Maybe I should change my summons auto attack settings. Um, summon units, always auto attack. Now they should break out of the invis to auto attack, right? Okay. Wow. I got 7,700 gold for that. That's kind of nuts. Um, oh, I can't just get a crown of dominator now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta say, that kind of surprises me a little bit, hey. Go get him, boys. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not really gonna do anything. Yeah, easy. Well, that that was a nice turn of events, and now we have Agonims. Cool. So, Flair versus Archimolium. You bet twenty four gold. Yeah, it wasn't even like. I feel like I didn't take a controversial bet. That just seemed like who was going to win to me. Alright, see more ones. Look at my walls. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see from them. And we're going to get... We're going to get another... F two. Another two balls, Not another three balls. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, uh, we need Octarine. Because I gotta lower the cooldown of the chaotic offering even more. Like honestly, this just has to be the lowest cooldown it can possibly be. And uh, other than that, I think I'm actually just gonna go for like luminance and shit. All right, we start out. We start out with this. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> All right, I mean, I. I mean, that didn't take so long, did it? <laughs> Hey, again, right now we're super strong if it comes to fighting creeps. So, hey, feel good about it. Manjin versus this Ogre Magi. 
You guys are saying too. Keep in mind you can't multicast access. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a smaller gamble here. I know that's kind of going against what you guys are voting for, but honestly, I uh, I think uh, that actually the Bat Rider has better chances. I mean, I'm still gonna do what you guys want me to do. Oh no! All right, all right, all right. You guys were right. You guys were right. You guys were right. Timo versus Arrow 404. Well, I think Timo is, frankly speaking, whack as shit. <laughs> you guys ready to go hard? We're gonna go hard. We're gonna gamble a lot on this. <sighs> Come on, Wolves. Go hard. Very good. How did you just use two shrapnels and miss both of them? That's actually just kind of impressive. So I, I think we get ourselves our sixth ability right now because we have enough money. This is all bad and I don't care about any of it. And then we've got Bramble Maze. Oh, Inferno Blade. Oh, that is actually like, I think that's like probably the best thing we could get. Right? Is Inferno Blade like just straight up the single best ability? Because now, all of a sudden, our hero became powerful. Right? Now it's no longer just our summons being powerful, but now I, the hero, am powerful too. So we'll buy ourselves a uh, Shiva's Guard. Uh, that defense is really, really appreciated. And probably get a heart. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's probably fine. Emergency refresher. Don't really think we need a refresher. I think we'll be fine. So I can just summon this stuff now, right? Pretty much every fight, it's fine. Let's me finish the fights really nice and quickly. And now we max out Infernal Blight. <sighs> and uh, then we have two more inventory slots here. I do want to get this bad boy. So we have one more inventory slot. So we get Luminance for sure. And then last, I think we're probably going to have to tailor that around how the duels go. Or maybe we just get ourselves another, another Crown of Dominator. Just get more stats, you know. But honestly speaking, right now, I don't even know what I would want to change about my build. I think my build is just like super sick, dude. Sky Staff on Infernal Blade? I don't think that's actually that needed. Uguay versus Vesely. Alright, chat, who takes it? Who's the champion? Quick. By the way, can I tell you guys? Okay, look. We got weird neighbors, right? I told you before the kind of our neighbors are just strange and weird and we don't really like them so much. Um Today, we went shopping, and we came back home, and we look in the garden, and there's, there's a toilet seat. Just, just, there's the whole toilet seat, <laughs> it's just in the garden. I don't know why, or how. <laughs> Like, with, like, the lid, you know, like, two pieces kind of scattered across. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Frankly, I don't really want to know. <laughs> but I just felt like maybe you guys might want to know. Um. Alright. Did you take it? Why would I take it? <laughs> Why would I take the toilet seat? Wait, is this, like, a thing that you do? If you find a toilet seat in your garden, you don't know why it's there, then you take the toilet seat. Man, I like this punch. This is like the wackest build I've ever seen, though. <laughs> it's just fleshy strength and fleshy agility. This is such garbage and it's kind of working. That is really funny. That is really, really funny. 
give us the toilet seat. You guys want... I'm not picking up the toilet seat. Look, if you guys found a strange toilet seat in your garden, would you go and pick it up? I'm not picking that up. <laughs> it's not my toilet seat. I don't have anything to do with that. The only thing we did in the garden was we went in the garden earlier and we had a look at the mushroom that was growing because Mickey likes mushrooms and it was a nice big mushroom. So we had a look at the mushroom. But that was it. And now all of a the sudden there is a, there's a toilet seat. I don't, I don't have anything to do with that. All right, Akimo, get it. Nice. Make me money. Yeah, very good. All right, we're just kind of working on our luminance. I mean, this is this game is looking to be just way too smooth, way too buttery. <laughs> I think this goes to the Tide Hunter, right? Because like the Tide Hunter actually has stuff. And Timo is just kind of like whack nonsense. That's nothing. Let me win so they lose their money. No, no, no. You can't take that risk because somebody might have gambled on Timo. Right? And then that person gets like a, a shit ton of cash. Also, you're losing out on so much money if you do that. It's not worth it. All right. Plus two wolf summon. Come on, Ugwe. Get him. Oh, God. Ugwe. Oh, one. <laughs> oh, who does that? Come on, man. Ugwe wouldn't like that. Ugwe wouldn't be happy about what you just did to Timo. Ugwe would not be proud of you. So this is Phantom Lancer, right? I would guess the Phantom Lancer. Ooh, that's kind of a bit, bit, big gamble. Look at how many wolves I got. And look at my wolves. They kind of go hard. Very good. Very good. Gradients. Working on this luminance. And, uh... I think in duels right now, I'm still kind of unbeatable. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I wonder if I'll ever become beatable, honestly speaking. Because, like, the Inferno Blade, this is a perma stun. And honestly, I just do way too much damage. <laughs> pretty sure I can beat you. You might be able to kill me. Yeah. No, I got, I got Luminance. I don't think you can win against me, Alkimo. You might have been able to win against me before I got the Luminance, but now that I have it, I don't think so. I don't think you get close, really. Uh, okay, so we have another inventory Good slot job, left here. Yeah. Hey, Pedas, Pedas 4H, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. But if I ask nicely, can I get a chroma key? Um, if you are in the Discord and you ask nicely, then yes. With the one condition that the server bug is actually fixed, which we're currently working on. From, from what I understand, Wispy is looking optimistic that he's got it. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe there's an update on that. Um, but so I want to, like, with, uh, if it comes to, like, keys, what I will do is I'm just going to kind of, like, give them out pretty freely. No big deal. But not right now, not literally right now. And that's only because we're having issues with connecting people to the server. Um, which is really, really frustrating because it wasn't a problem, right? Like, it just kind of appeared out of nowhere that this started being a, a bug. So, yeah. There's also a client bug. So far, the suicide did not happen from yesterday. Yes, look. Oh, that was kind of nice. I like that jump back. That was actually kind of sick. Let's go, dude. <laughs> that was actually kind of sick. <laughs> I like that mobility right there. So anyway. But yeah, I I'm happy to give out the keys pretty freely as soon as we have that issue fixed. Because what I don't want is I don't want to give out a key... And then, you know, you download the game and you're ready to play it and you go in 
and then you just can't play against anyone and then you're frustrated and leave and never come back. I just don't want that. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So yeah. So yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Man, this is actually just brutally easy. All right, Munjin. Why are you just sitting there? I imagine you're playing this really weirdly and it's making me feel very uncomfortable with my bed. Turn off the rot. Good. <laughs> so. Well, what are we buying now? I think we uh, consume this bad boy. And then what, we, what are we feeling like? You guys, I see, want a Star Force. Uh, I'm kind of feeling Crown of Dominator. Oh, I should have bet. Sorry, guys. I was kind of still thinking about what items to buy. Oh, never mind. You guys were wrong anyway. <laughs> right, I'm glad that we didn't bet. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hmm. I think, honestly speaking, I think a Crown of Dominator is better. I like the spread of stats more. Yeah, I don't know. Just buying stats is worth more than Crown. No, actually, we did the math on it. Just buying stats is more expensive than buying a Crown. Um... So, I don't know. Mindbreaker, Paladin Sword, or Orb of Destruction. I mean, it's all kind of bad. I guess I'll get the Paladin Sword. Alright, let's get a Star Force then. Since everybody seems to be wanting me to get a Star Force, why don't we do that? And now we're just in stats buying mode, right? We just get, we just get stats for days. Is Feral Impulse actually good enough to have? I mean, 65% damage increase is nice. Like, there's no question about that. These wolves right here... But, like, it only increases based on their base damage, right? I think it might be better to have a different unit. Or, like, a different, different spell, honestly. I don't know. Okay. What would you like to get from neutrals? Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, the big necro book. As the tier 5. I think that would be kind of cool. The big necro would be awesome. Or just kind of like a illusionist cape. So I'll bust my summons a bit. The hammer, havoc hammer just gives me some stats. I don't know. I think there's a lot of stuff we can get. But we don't really like care all that much. Trident for stats. Trident for stats would be great too. Yeah, I have no beef with that. I think there's a lot of stuff we can get that would be pretty alright. I love this patch so much. I think this patch is the funniest thing. Berserker's Blood and Eject. What's this? Who wins here? You guys say it's the patch. Wow. Really? I think it goes to this guy. This guy has Fury Swipes. What's the patch gonna do about Fury Swipes? I mean that like... With no disrespect, I just don't know how the Pudge, like, does anything there. <gasps> you guys alright? This is why I trust you guys. That's why I let you gamble. <laughs> That's why I let you guys gamble. Yeah, check. Vicky Feral Impulse is just base damage. Yeah, that is making me really not feel too good about it as an item. I can Pudge have seven skills. Well, Pudge can actually have eight because he's getting bonus abilities from other abilities. Oh, that's not enough. That does like nothing. Oh. Oh my god. Fuck. What a throw. 
What a throw. Now, that was not good from me. Honestly, I just can't afford I had him. Like, that's just what happened right here. I thought I had the kill. And then I, I didn't. <laughs> that's it. Um, I'm going to say Arkimo has this, probably. All right. A scrum and support create G-Force now, and is it going to come on Android? I have no idea what G-Force is, to be honest. I don't do the technology side. Um, I would guess no. I don't know. Is G-Force something worth supporting? What is G-Force? I hear about G-Force a lot. Isn't that the gravitational force? Isn't that like a thing in space when you're like decompressing from space? Isn't that a thing there? I don't know, guys. I don't know the hip gamer terms. Hey, four seconds. Thank you very much for the 23 months. And video cards. So it's not going to be any support for anything that requires any sort of specific hardware for Chroma. Because frankly speaking, we just look, guys, like, I don't know. That's just, that's just asking for a lot. <laughs> and then for Android, um, we would like to have the Android version as quickly as possible. We can make custom mode work with you when works with Forza. I'm not quite sure what it, uh, that it will work when you try. It's okay, with we'll just try it later. So, what's going on here? Oh, well, I think Archimon should have this, right? MKB is online? Yeah, it should be fine. But yeah, honestly, I have no idea what G-Force even is. Should I know what that is? G-Force. All I know is memes. I always thought it was just people making fun of, like, graphic cards developers. Which sounds pretty funny to me. Uh, let me get a book of retraining and just yeet out the feral impulse. And no, not really feeling any of that. Mana burn, not really feeling that either. Yeet out you. Is there any point to. I keep getting like kind of crazy abilities, honestly, but I just don't think I can really use them. Do I get this? Like, I wonder, is there actual value to Whirling Death? How many Strength Heroes are there? I can cut down you. It's only this guy. If there was, like, more Strength Heroes, I could see this being nice. But I think right now it's not actually going to be... Ah, there's also the Pudge. Eh, I don't know. I think I'm fine against those two just on my own. All right, no Skewer. I think we get Shapeshift. You know what? I, I I was actually kind of looking for this. We're gonna have pretty low cooldown on Shapeshift. All right, like this is nearly 100% uptime. Considering the way Custom Hero Chaos, Custom Hero Clash works, this is basically 100% uptime. Because it's just gonna be cooling down quicker in the breaks. And we can just kind of like have that going on all the time. By the golem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta rearrange my stuff a little bit. One second. So I can actually bite a golem now. Does that? Bites an ally. I don't know. How is this how is this punch so strong, dude? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense to me. How's the punch so strong? Alright, come at me, Archimo. So what we have to do against Archimo is just make sure we get off the luminance. Um when All right, cast this right now. When that, when the pain starts. Whoo! Premise on all of my units, and my luminance wasn't anywhere near enough damage. That was satanic and octarine. Yeah, that's a lot of feeling right there. I think you can't buy the golem. I don't think I have to buy the golem. Because all this does is makes it so that whatever unit I have, like, like it gives them shapeshift, right? But shapeshift already gives my summons shapeshift. <laughs> that's how shapeshift already works. 
So it's not really something that needs to be done. <laughs> No, I can't bite my... I can't bite my golems. Uh, spell prism sounds good. Or illusionist escape. This gives what? Increases the damage of all units and illusions controlled by the hero by 10%. Do I care more about this or do I care more about spell prism reducing my cooldowns even more? Huh, that's actually kind of a hard call. I feel like 10% is not that much. <laughs> this is also plus 12 into all stats, which works well with kind of Dominator. Alright, chat, give me a vote. One for uh, Illusion Escapes, two for Spell Prism, three for Ninja Gear. Help me out, guys. I'm on my own. I don't know what to do. I'm not smart. No idea. Give me a vote. Alright, small brain. Need help. All right, we've got most people. We've got more votes on spell prism than on illusion escape. Very good. All right, let's get ourselves this bad boy. Uh, we can probably move this somewhere else. We don't really need you. Oh, I need to activate this. Very good. I wonder who wins there. We could probably be cross-platform. Uh, when it's out on... Uh, what's it called? On mobile, whenever that be, then yes. You guys think it's going to be the patch again? I don't know why you guys believe so much in the patch, but honestly speaking, this patch is kind of wrecking shit, and I don't really know why either, so I'm just going to kind of say, okay. Dude, honestly, I think the spell person is kind of sick. I have so much cooldown reduction. This has... Wait! This actually just straight up has less cooldown than duration now, right? Yeah. This just straight up has 100% uptime. I feel like it's actually gonna be hard to get an item that's better than Spell Prism in our neutral slot here. Oh my god, you won?! Oh, I can't believe it. How? How is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> this patch is such nonsense, and he's somehow still winning. That's that's crazy. All right, get these. All right, I have an army. Hello. Got it. I do not have it. Wow. Oh, yeah, cleave. Uh no cleave what I'm saying. The 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 butterfly evasion. Crazy attack speed right there. Huh. Um this is actually, like, turning out to be a lot closer than I really thought it was going to be. I mean, I think I'm still really strong. And I'm not so worried about ever dying to, to the creeps, honestly. And I really like my build. <laughs> you know what I like about this particular match of Custom Hero Clash? It's actually just really um, diverse in its builds. Right, we have me with some absolute fucking nonsense. We have Ogre Magi, who is, I think, just like multicasting with, uh, with Fire Blast, which is super cool. Tight Hunter, who is doing who the hell knows what this is, some weird right-click build? It's like a very tanky, strange cleaving build. They've got Medusa, who's lame and overpowered. Um, Phantom Lancer, who... Uh, yeah, well, okay, that's also kind of lame and... You know, just kind of right clicky. Well, there's nothing really too crazy going on there. And then finally, we've got this Pudge, who is just kind of a lot of stats. <laughs> also kind of dead. Oh, that's a shame. Is that it? No, I think he's got another one. Yeah, there's one more chance here. All right, Pudge isn't completely out yet, but it's not going to make it much longer. 
I don't think Pudge wins that. Honestly, the Bash of the Deep, Chemical Rage, it's just gonna be too much for Pudge to handle, I feel. So, yeah. G4 is now a free cloud gaming service that NVIDIA made and you can play any games you want on any platform, even on Chrome browser. Uh, well, no, we do not support something like that. I don't, I don't really want you to play the game on any platform. I want you to, game, to play the game on our platform. <laughs> uh, so, it uses Steam. Ah, okay. Well, I don't know. Honestly speaking, you ha guys have to really think about Chroma like in the smallest terms possible. This is what I'm always telling everybody on my team, and this is what you guys need to get into your head as well. But it's just like... Everything we do is about keeping it as small as humanly possible. All right? Tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny baby game. All right? That's all we want. We want it to be small and achievable. Come on, dude. There's so many units here. <laughs> Just perma stuns, like 15 units. <laughs> Ah, oh. because we have a very like defined list of features that we're gonna have right and we're gonna do that and nothing else nothing else anytime a new idea comes up i just tell people maybe if we have extra time but right now no because there's no time for new ideas. There's only time for that, which we already know that we want to do. And that we can do. And that we have, you know, like, figured out and planned out and all of that stuff. And that's the only stuff that we will do. I think Battlehunger gotta go. I, honestly, the Battlehunger seems kind of useless. Mana burn? Against some heroes, mana burn is gonna be insane. Not against me. Why am I always fighting Medusa? Ah, oh, crap. Alright, discard this. Alright, that's nothing. <gasps> Kraken shell. Okay. Alright, this might be it. This might be what I need. I can't, can't attack her. I can't attack her. Yes. Was the chaos night? Thanks for the game. I had a fun time though. I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> I have not thought on my machine. Yes. Don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> GG's my boy. Hey, look, you didn't do that. You you lasted longer than Timo, and Timo plays Dota every day. So, all right. We'll count that as a W. <sighs> what do we do about this situation now? I like Kraken Shell. I think I'll keep Kraken Shell. These right here. I think this goes to the Tide Hunter, right? All right. So I kind of can't summon these wolves as just a bit of a meat shield, honestly. Which in of itself actually has quite a bit of value. Because it's a pretty tanky meat shield. I mean, look at these guys. They got 6,000 HP each. How much armor do they have? 18 armor? It's not too bad. Hey, guys, can you already beat this guy up now? <laughs> so we flame Timo now? Now? Are we flaming Timo? Is, is this a new thing? Apologies. Alright. So. That's not a problem. Look at that. Apex, right? I, well, it doesn't matter. These are not better than the Spell Prism. 
I think I just keep it. I just think I keep my spell prism, right? Would we rather have any of this than 20% cooldown reduction? All right, chat, push one for this item. What's it called? Ex Machina. Push two for Mirosha. Push three for Apex. Push four to just keep spell person. Right? Yeah, that's a lot of fours. So I think we just kind of get this bad boy. And I need something better for duels. I just, I need an item set that can help me win duels. What if we get like Bloodthorn? If I come in with a Bloodthorn and just silence Archimo, does that work? I need to get close enough. Wait, Akimo's dead. <laughs> it's okay, guys. We don't need to worry about it anymore. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You can't get rid of Kraken Shell now. All right. Look how smart we are. Look how good we are. The re it turns out the real counter to Akimo was to just kind of like outlive the nerd. Spirit Scythe? Blur. I should probably get Blur, actually. Blur is going to be a lot of survivability against creeps. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think Blur is fine. Because at this stage, I feel like a lot of this fighting is going to have to actually be done by me with my, uh, with my Inferno Blade. So I'll just kind of get Blur. Also, Blur has 5.2 seconds cooldown. Which is kind of nice. Wow, that's actually kind of sick. I remember when we, like, first played Custom Hero Ka Chaos. One of the first abusers we found was just having Blur with Agonims and never ever die. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a thing. Alright, it's me versus Ugbe. Well, I, this is, seems like an incredibly obvious fight to me, right? I mean, like, how could Ugbe possibly win this? How could I possibly lose this? Alright, we transform, just so we have that. I do just need to, like, connect with an attack. Alright. So I guess that's how we possibly lose this. If I never actually manage to get the break. No, it's fine. It is fine. Very good. I don't think Refresher would be that good. I know people keep talking about Refresher, but I really just don't think it's gonna be that good. I think at this stage, most of our power doesn't really come from something like Refresher. I feel like we need we need an MKB for duels. That's going to be way more useful than a Refresher would ever be. And we just kind of like use that. I mean, it kind of is a bit stinky, but we're going to have to like not rely on the summons so much because they're just not that strong anymore. Right? So I think for duels... So we get rid of Apex. I think there's no point at which Apex is actually worth equipping. And we don't need Ghost Sept anymore because we're not getting permastunned by Archimel. Um, We need... We need a Monkey King bar that we can equip. And... <clears throat> and then... What else do we need?
But for is better, it makes the target take 100% attacks instead of only you hitting, also crits. I don't think it's better, because only I matter, only Infernal Blade matters. Against these guys. Hmm. Right, my attacks are the important attacks. It doesn't really matter if my creeps are attacking. I don't know. Hmm, maybe it does. These guys are just not as strong as, like, Lone Druid Spear. Because you can't put items on them. Uh, so while they're not terrible... Alright, they are actually kind of doing pretty decently. It's definitely not gonna be, like, the majority of damage. I don't know. <sighs> we need an MKB, no matter what. Um... I think the right way to go is just kind of like Heaven's Halberd seems right. I think this is the right collection of items. Now the question is just how do we equip it? We replace Star Force, Heart, and Shiva, I would guess. Right? So we kind of go like this. This is the right selection, yeah. So I think that's our item set for duels. That seems sensible to me. I mean, there's not that many... There's not that many... Um what am I saying? There's not that many players still in the game. So. Fine. We probably want to get a moon shot, actually. We have basically no attack speed. A little bit more really wouldn't go, but uh, really would go a long way. I'm just going to buy a moon shot and have that really quick. Yeah, a bit of attack speed wouldn't be too bad. You need Shiva to reduce lifesteal? No, no, no. We're, we're stopping them from attacking. That's the idea. We use Heaven's Halberd, Hex. Right? We don't need Shiva to reduce their lifesteal because, first of all, it's not that much a reduction. And secondly, because ideally they aren't lifestealing at all. So that's kind of the, the strategy. We want to prevent that from happening in the first place. Moonshot said, no, it's Moonshot Monday. It's always Moonshot Monday. <laughs> Come on, guys, you know that. Every day is Moonshot Monday. <laughs> Alright, done. Wait, is the Phantom Lancer are still fighting? Wow, you actually made it. That's kind of intense. Alright, it's me versus the Ogre. <clears throat> so, no evasion there. I think we get the Hex, though. Alright, so what's the strategy from this Ogre? It's going to be hexing, silencing me. So I think we want the longest range ability we've got to come out immediately, which is uh, Chaotic Offering, right? Fuck. Hex is faster. Mm. That's a problem. I guess we need BKB. I suppose we need a BKB. Let's just hope we have enough time to snatch one of those up. Is Flair still fighting? Yeah, but Flair should be fine. I mean, this Phantom Lancer... It's not, like, crazy impressive. I don't know. The Menagerie. Oh no, don't talk about uh, Tonga, don't talk about that now. <laughs> Menage rebuilds are so strong at this point, honestly. I'm talking about Hearthstone Battlegrounds, of course. Uh, I don't know if you guys play that, but I do. And, uh, ooh, Menage rebuilds, that's the way to go right now, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, what's she called? Queen Togwoggle? Spamming Menagerie. Telling you, that's, that's where the real power's at. 
Ooh, this is kind of scary. I mean, we'll be fine, I think. Why am I missing? I died. How many attacks in a row did I just miss? I lost. Wow. <laughs> what is their missed chance? Oh, they have a shit ton of evasion. Oh, wow. I wasn't aware of that. Sorry. I honestly just had no idea that those guys had evasion. Um. Whew. Uh, I guess, I guess food it is. I guess food it is. All right. Let's, let's see how this ends up turning out though. Now nah, that's kind of a disappointing way to go. <laughs> Dude, chill. What's that? What's this attack speed? That's kind of intense. So, do you... Oh, you got Infernal Blade. Nice. That means this guy can win against the Year Beast. I think Ogre is dead. So, funnily enough... Phantom Lancer, who resigned himself to last, not last, uh, third, last of us three, resigned himself to third, is actually probably gonna win. Because I fucked up and I didn't equip my MKB because I didn't realize quickly enough that the guys had evasion. Yep, yeah, there goes the Ogre. And that's it. Flair taking it. That's kind of wild, dude. That's kind of wild. Well then. Uh, sadly, this game mode doesn't have a fun end screen. You know, it doesn't doesn't really feel very satisfying to win because you just kind of like randomly win. By the way, at the end, there's, there's this huge power spike. Victory. Right? It's this huge power spike with the creeps. Anyway, that's it. Look at that. All right then. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, that was actually uh, an interesting game, I think, with a lot of funny builds. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a rating on the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.